Okay, today I'm going to show you how to restore files that have been deleted from your computer system that are not in your recycle bin. Let me go and minimize this. So if I go to my recycle bin and I select all these files right here and they're gone, those files are no longer accessible for me from this right now. Some people think they're permanently deleted, but they're not. And I can show you how to reaccess those files. So go ahead and type restoration in Google okay. and search you're going to select the first one by snap files snap files has a lot of good programs if you want to go ahead and search for them you can search free shareware but this is the utility we're going to be downloading right now it also has ranking from other people so if you want to rank software you can So let's go ahead and check out some things we got here. It's standalone, no installation. That's great. You don't have to install another thing. It's just right there, easy access. Don't worry about no other things. It works for a FAT, NTFS, as well as digital camera cards. That is excellent also. Not to mention, there are no system requirements. That's kind of defeating itself since this is a system requirement right here. So technically, Windows 98 ME 2000 XP runs this. I haven't tried Vista on it yet, but I will. Another good thing is it's free, as well as a small size. So let's go ahead and download this file. This will take a few seconds. This is my download manager. It helps me resume larger files if I need to. There we go. It's finished download. Let's go over here. It's in a zip file as you can see. It's a self-extract so even if you don't have like 7z, WinRAR, or WinZip, this will still unzip it. So we'll go ahead and unzip it to the C drive in its own little folder. There we go. All files are done. Let's close this. Let's go to start. My computer. The C drive. Right here. And here's your file right there. Go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, you got different drives you can select from. These are different partitions, the same hard disk, but they're considered as different drives. You can also include clusters by other files even files with the size at zero. So we're going to go ahead and search for delete files. And I have a lot of delete files as you can see that it's scanning. And these are the number of files that are in this list that are located. These files are actually what's on my hard disk right now. In the clusters. So it scan every cluster for deleted ones and it's putting the deleted ones right here. So I'm going to cancel this because this already this will keep or whatever is scanned already saved on there. As you can see, it tells you what folder it came from as well as the name. Scroll up here a little bit, the size, and the modified date. We're going to go ahead and select this one. I'm going to show you something real fast. So we're going to select this one. Say I don't want this file no more. I could delete that completely off, but I'm not going to right now. I'm going to do a quick scan right now. I'm going to stop it right there. But you can delete that file or all files completely off. Let's go ahead and select something. I know we got a deleted file somewhere. This file is from when I was deleting stuff off my temporary folder for more space and to speed up my system a little bit better because I like to delete my cookies every now and then, delete temporary files to save disk space. So we're going to go ahead and restore this file. What you do is you're going to copy. We're going to go ahead and select where the folder is I'm currently at. There we go. And so that's going to take it, and that's going to copy it. 
it gives you a little bit of recommendation but it's fine if you continue it won't hurt your system at all and there's our deleted file right there I can see it was just a gray box let's go ahead and restore one more here's a text file let's go ahead and restore that text file we're going to put it in the same area save it yes there's our text file right there that was from a temporary file from a program now we don't leave those no more they're deleted for a purpose so now you see how to delete those files if you want to do and search for something I would suggest you finish this let it go all the way through and then scroll down here because it gives you options easier way like in the folder or modified date when it costs been deleted and how you can restore it and you can also if you don't want it no more delete completely it's deleting all those clusters that are messed up completely that will take a while I'm going to cancel that right now but there you go there's another tutorial for you. Enjoy.